Right, it seems to be happening a lot on Houston highways. Giant spools creating a traffic headache for drivers. Yesterday, this 18-wheeler, which was carrying one of those spools, got stuck underneath an overpass on 59. Our Andy Sirota is live tonight with more on this very bizarre problem. Andy. Keith, HPD says it's noticed an increase in these types of incidents. After several recent cases, the department's Traffic Enforcement Division is continuing to step up its efforts, taking quite a few different types of proactive measures, including pulling over drivers with oversized loads. Sky 2 over 59 inbound in the 610 West Loop after a tractor trailer carrying a large construction spool hit the bridge and got stuck underneath the flyover. Traffic only getting by in the left two lanes. TxDOT bridge inspectors tell us it didn't cause any damage, but police say they ticketed the driver who claims he got lost, ended up on 59 and 610 and thought he could make it. Houston police continue taking action by going after violators. We try to set up on places uh, before they hit the bridges and, um, you know, pull them over, inspect them. If they're uh, over 14, you know, 14 feet, then we, you know, and they don't have a permit, then we'll cite them. It's targeted enforcement. Officers look at crash data and where the bridges are that have been hit in the past. It's not an uncommon scene on Houston freeways. This is one example. In October of last year, a giant spool was seen rolling down I-10 near Wayside and McCarty, damaging a vehicle. Slice this tire, hit the inside here. A few weeks later, a pair of spools blocked three lanes of traffic on I-10 in that same area. Police also reaching out to companies that transport these large spools, making sure that they educate their employees so that they're aware of how tall they are and the importance of staying on route. TxDOT also telling us that it has sensors at two locations, one at I-10 and Wirt, the other at I-10 and Mercury. Those sensors alert truck drivers if their loads are too tall. Live outside HPD's in traffic enforcement, Andy Sirota, KP. PRC Channel 2 News.